Hey everybody, Jason with Inland Valley Customs. We're going to go over replacing the solenoid on the Harley Davidson trike uh, reverse motor today. First, we want to take off the motor post nut for the brush holder wire. 13 millimeter on the back here. You only have to loosen it a little bit, loosen it a little bit. That comes off like that. Now, we're going to take a five millimeter Allen and take out the solenoid mounting screws. There is one either side here. And that's it, she is loose. Okay, I like to work with it this way just so we can see what's in there. There's our plunger. We're gonna go ahead and take that out because we need to uh, use this old plunger. We're gonna hold it, get a good grip push down here, take a bladed screwdriver, and pry that tab back. That's gonna allow that to come up. Just let go slowly, because it is, it is spring tension, so that's gonna shoot out on you, so we have to be very careful. There is a new spring that comes with our new solenoid, so we don't need the old one. Here we go, we have our new solenoid here, and we're gonna put the spring down there that there is a center contact down there. That spring is gonna go right over that middle part, so make sure it does end up over the middle, because uh, if it's off to the side here, it's gonna kink and it's gonna stop the solenoid from operating properly. So we do want it right in the center there. I'm gonna hold it back up steady, and the, uh, the old plunger, because it is shaped rather differently, that's gonna go back in here, exactly how it seems. We're gonna hold that down and just push that tab, bend it back into place, and that's gonna hold it for us. Now down in the bottom here is the shift lever. It's right in the center. That is what the solenoid is gonna hook onto. You have to hook on, otherwise it's not gonna operate properly. And that spring is gonna stay on the spacer here as well. There's a gold spring in there. Some of you have a black spring, some of you have gold. So now, once that's on, you do have to push down to get that pressure, and we're gonna put the mounting screws in uh, through the front again. Got one of the mounting screws here, back to the five millimeter Allen wrench. Hold it steady, make sure they're aligned, make sure you're still hooked onto the shift lever. Give it a little bit of a push, and you'll start to thread. Don't tighten it all the way until you get both screws in the threads. Tighten those until the lock washer is closed, and there we go. Now we are back upright. We're gonna take our brush lead, make sure it's below the lock washer, and back to our 13 millimeter to tighten that nut. When the lock washer is closed, it's nice and tight. And there we have it. Thank you so much for watching. If you're looking for other specific instructions, please check out our other videos in our channel. If you'd like to contact us via email, you can check out our website at inlandvalleycustoms.com. We are on eBay as well, Inland Valley Customs. And stay tuned to see us on Amazon. As always, safe riding.